Hey guys, my name is Scooby. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add a donation jar to your Twitch stream with OBS. This is going to be a nice quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. You can see a quick example of this on screen. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing I want to do is come to this link. Links are always in the description down below. And we're going to be logging into and using Streamlabs. Now Streamlabs is a really powerful tool for streamers and adds a lot of different options. I've used it multiple times in the past for a number of different OBS tutorials, which I'm going to be leaving a link to my playlist at the top of the description down below if you want to check out some others. So the first thing I want to do is click log in on the top right or log in to get started down here. And we're going to be selecting which platform we want to log in with. In this case, we're going to be using Twitch and it will automatically log into whatever Twitch account you currently have signed into in your browser. If this is your first time opening Streamlabs, it may ask for authorization. If it does, simply allow it. And then you'll be brought to this screen, which is your Streamlabs dashboard. There's a lot of information here. It gives you a lot of insights and a lot of analytics. It might be worth coming back here. I think it's really powerful and it's a really nice tool. What we're going to be doing is coming over to the left and expanding our widgets panel if yours isn't already expanded. And we're going to be clicking the jar. Now, once we're here, we're going to be given an array of different options down here. And I'm going to be going through each of them to explain what each of them do. And we're going to be talking a little bit about each of them. So the first thing we can do is enable events. And you can choose which events you want enabled. By default, all of these are checked. You can check more if you wish, but I'm going to leave them all checked for now. The second thing we can do is select our jar image type. You can select whichever one you want. By default, it's going to be this. In this case, I'm going to be choosing the big beer mug just because. And you can do whatever you want with this, of course. The next option is to enable custom HTML and CSS. If you're familiar with HTML and CSS and you want to play around with some code to set up exactly how you want your text and other things, feel free to do this. But for this case, I'm going to be going through the disabled version. So we can actually edit things without using HTML and CSS, but that's up to you and depending on the skills that you have. Next thing we can do is select text to allow text to be shown or not to be shown. This is also up to you. In this case, I would recommend leaving text on. The next thing we can do is play around with the font and we're given a number of different fonts. I think these are all Google fonts, but of course you can choose whatever font you want. In this case, we'll be keeping open sans, but of course that's up to you. The next thing we're going to be looking at is the text color and you can play around with this to your heart's content. You can use a hex decimal code if you wish, or you can simply use the color picker. In this case, we'll be using just the default white. Then we can come down to next is the font size. By default, it's going to be 32 and you can play around with this if you wish. I'm going to be leaving it at this size for now, but you can play around with this if you want. The next thing we can talk about is is the minimum bits. So if you want a minimum bit number to be able to add to our jar, you can do that here. You can do whatever you want really with this. It's all a little bit of trial and error too. It works for your stream. And I guess it really depends on the frequency of how often you get bits because sometimes it can be really annoying if it's all the time, but that's of course up to you also. You can also set it to a minimum tip. In this case, it's gonna to be to US dollars. I don't think there's a way of changing it to a different currency, but you can kind of translate it to your currency if that's what you want also. Next thing you can select is the background color. By default, it's going to be green, but of course you can play around with this. The next thing we can do is change the Twitch follows button. By default, it'll automatically take the image, but of course you can click change media and you'll be brought to this little image here and you'll be able to select whatever image you want. And the next thing we have tips over zero, tips over three, and tips over 20, which stand for three different types of tiers that will be given at certain tips over a certain size. You can change around with these images if you want by simply clicking change media and then selecting or uploading an image, whatever you want to do here. Once you're happy with all your settings, simply click save settings down here at the bottom. And we're going to be coming back up to the top of our page. Now at the very top, we'll see the widget URL. What we want to do is click here to show widget URL. Now in this case, we have two options to test out how we want to do this. You can either grab the widget URL and bring it directly over to OBS to test it in OBS. Or if you want, you can click the launch button on the right hand side, which will open up a separate window browser, which will load up your jar and your mug. And we can test everything here before we actually bring anything into OBS. So in this case, I'm going to be bringing our windows to the left and right. I'm going to be leaving our jar window over here. And I'm going to be leaving our Streamlabs window over here. Now underneath our Streamlabs window, you can see we have multiple options here to test tips and donations, test Twitch follows, test Twitch bits and cheers, test Twitch subs, and test Twitch resubs. So here you can play around with all the different features to see exactly what effect it will have. In this case, we'll be testing Twitch bits slash cheers, so we can actually fill up our mug. So as you can tell, it will automatically bring up a little option and your text will come across the screen and then your bits will fall into your mug. Now you can do multiple tests if you wish to see how the mug fills up. This is a test. Test. But just be warned, this can add some extra CPU usage to your computer. So if you've already got a slow computer and you're trying to stream, this might not be the best idea of adding this to your stream. So now that we have it tested and we're happy with how it looks, in my case I am, I'm going to be bringing our Chrome window back to full screen and I'm going to be copying the widget URL that we have in the browser. 
From here, I'm going to be going back to OBS and we're going to be creating a new scene if you wish. And we're going to be adding a new browser source. So how we do this is come down to the sources, click the little plus button and go to browser source. From here, we can give this a name if you wish. I'm going to just name it jar in my case. You don't have to name it if you don't want to. And we're going to be placing the URL with the widget URL we just copied from Chrome. You can play around with the height, width and FPS here. I'd recommend keeping the FPS to whatever you're streaming slash recording at. And you can play around with CSS once again here if you're familiar with that and you want to use it in that way. I'm going to be clicking OK, and then our window is going to change here on screen. You can put this wherever you want on your screen. As you can see, it's an invisible box. So wherever you feel comfortable with keeping it, you'll see that the jar will eventually load, and then all the text and image options will come up on screen over here as you get donations. But if we go back to our browser and we test Twitch bit slash cheers, go back to OBS, you'll see it load up into OBS, and our bits donation will come onto screen and then fall into our jar. And it's as simple as that to add a Twitch donation jar to your stream with OBS. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, check out the other videos on the channel. If you enjoyed this tutorial and you want to support me and you want to donate to my jar, I'm going to leave a link down below to my PayPal. Of course, there's no pressure if you can't. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.